So if you just got a Nord VPN subscription and are not sure how to use it specifically on your Android, this video will give you a general idea on how Nord works. Most of the information here will also apply to Nord on other devices, except for the device exclusive features. Now, if at any point you'd like to check out pricing or discounts, you can find what you need in the description below. Now, if you've ever used NordVPN on PC or Mac, you'll notice that the UI design is very similar and you'll know exactly what to do from the intuitive map design with a few minor tweaks to accommodate to the touchscreen. You can search through the map for servers and when tapping on a specific country, it will show you the available servers. Tap outside the map to return to the normal server menu, which will also allow you to search for countries. In the server menu, you'll also notice that you have access to specialty servers. Just like the desktop version of Nord, if you're using OpenVPN, you'll have all five specialty servers available, whereas Nord Links will remove double VPN and dedicated IP from that list. So to briefly go over the functions of these specialty servers, peer-to-peer -peer are servers that specifically cater towards peer-to-peer -to -peer activities such as torrenting. Onion over VPN will link you to the Tor network without having to download the Tor browser. Obfuscated servers will help you bypass firewalls in censorship heavy countries. Double VPN will route your connection through two servers to increase security at the cost of speed. And dedicated IP will provide servers with the same IP every time you use them. Now jumping into the settings, the first option you'll see is CyberSec, which will block malware and phishing attempts. Split tunneling will allow you to disable the VPN connection for selected apps, unlike the desktop version, which gives you the option to choose whether you want your selected apps to use the VPN or stay outside the VPN tunnel. Auto connect will give you the option to automatically have Nord connect you to a selected server whenever you're connected to the internet. This is especially useful when connected to public Wi-Fi, where the risk of your information getting leaked is higher. If you're familiar with the desktop version of Nord, you'll notice the lack of a kill switch. According to Nord's support, some devices have a kill switch option and some don't due to the way that Android is built. Sometimes it is impossible to implement it in the NordVPN app. So for example, my Huawei does not have the kill switch option, but maybe your Samsung or Sony phone might have it. Nord themselves don't provide a specific list on which devices it could be available on. And when asked, they just said that the kill switch is only confirmed to be available on the latest phones that have Android 8.0 OS version. My phone is version 9.0, so it has to be specifically 8.0 is what I assume. Though it is available on iPhone, if that's what you have. And now up next, you'll have three protocols to choose from. Nord recommends Nord Lynx, since it is the quickest protocol and it will use less battery. If you're aiming for better security, you can use OpenVPN UDP, since the TCP option, while it may be a little bit more secure, it is much slower. Custom DNS will allow you to easily change your DNS if needed. And finally, tapjacking protection and dark web monitor will alert you if anything suspicious pops up on your screen or if your credentials are publicly exposed online, respectively. And that sums up NordVPN on Android. It's generally the same as the desktop version, minus the kill switch on some devices, and the split tunneling feature will only allow you to exclude apps out of the VPN connection. So if you wanted only one application to use the VPN connection, you'll have to select everything else to make sure they don't get affected by the VPN. Now, if you're looking for a full NordVPN review, I'll link that in the description alongside all the deals and discounts that I could find so that you guys can hopefully save some cash if you haven't purchased a subscription yet. I hope you enjoyed or learned something in this video. If you did, please let me know by leaving a rating and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.